So here we have problem number three, and it's about roaring company. Um, so this company produces a mix of two types of beer, namely gold beer and white beer. So we need to maximize profit by producing gold beer and white beer. So this is our objective function. And we can see that we have six um, per unit profit of gold, meaning that if we produce one, um, one beer, then the profit will be 60. And if we produce a unit of white beer, um, the profit will be 90. So we would like to maximize profit by producing a number of gold beer and white beer. But we are limited by the constraints, which are the inputs. And in this case, we have corn, hops, and malt. So these are the ingredients that are used to produce gold and white beer. And in this case, we can see that uh, to produce a unit of gold beer, we will need 20 corns. And we don't use corn for white beer. And uh, we have about 500 corns. And so we can utilize all of them or less. That's why we have less or equal to 500. Now, if you look at the hops, uh, to produce a unit of gold, we will need two. And for white, we need one. And when it comes to malt, we need 10 for gold beer and 30 for white. And uh, for hops, we have only 60. While malt, we have 900. And we have our non-negativity condition, meaning that we cannot produce minus or negative of any beer. And so the gold beer and white beer should be greater or equal to zero, meaning that we either produce or we don't produce. So we can build our model so that we can use solver to solve um, this problem to see if we utilize our resources, the corn, hops, and malt, how many units of gold and uh, white we can produce to maximize profit. So let's go to Excel and develop our model. And so we have, let's see the company, um, let's call it ABC Company. And this company produces and it produces two products, gold and white. <clears throat> and so it produces quantities of gold and white. So let's go with the quantity. And we can put an amount because we haven't produced yet. And so I can go with one. And this uh, varying variable cells. And so we can color them and uh, can define the color to be the changing variable cells. We can write the per unit profit. Remember, we are maximizing. If we were minimizing, we could say the per unit cost. So here we have the per, per unit profit. And we know that for the gold, we have 60 and white 90. So I'm gonna write 60 there and also 90. And then I could write here profit, total profit, I'll put equal sign, and I will use some product function because we will take 60 times one plus 90 times one. And so we will highlight this and also highlight the quantity and we can close the bracket and this profit can be highlighted and this indicates set 
objective. So then next we look at the inputs. And so we have corn, we have hops, and then we have malt. And we know that for gold, we need uh, 20 corns. And here we don't need anything, so we can say we need just zero. And for the hops, we need two for gold and just one for white. And for the malt, we have 10 for gold and 30 for white. And so here we can look at the um, used resources or used inputs and we can see that um, uh, we can change any quantity of production but the per unit production will use 20 and so if we change to 2 that means it's going to be 40 and so forth so in this case we can also use the sum product function and we can highlight the resource which is corn and then we look at the quantities that we're going to produce and so we can close the bracket and enter however we are going to apply the same function for hops and malts and so the, the each of this will refer to the quantity and so we can put the dollar sign and remember if you're using windows you can press f4 and it will put the dollar sign here and then you put another dollar sign there if you're using mac you can hold down function f4 or you can press down command t but whichever works um, you can apply that so i'm using a uh, mark so let me hold down function f4 and actually it put the dollar sign here and i need another one here for d you can see the dollar sign was for c the cell which is c6 so i need another one for d6 so i'm gonna click there and press function key and f4 and then you can see i have also the dollar sign um there so now i can click ok so in this case we can enter and um, uh, we have uh, you can see that we have used 20 corns for gold and zero for white in fact we're not using corn for for white and therefore if we produce a unit of gold then we are uh, we will use 20 um, units of corns and let's say if you change and put two there you can see it will be 40 that means um, we are producing two units of gold and therefore we have to use uh, 40 or 20 times 2 and since we put the dollar signs for the for these two cells then this other two I mean uh, other two inputs hops and malt can actually refer to the same um, quantity or to the same cells um, as we did for the cons and so we're going to copy this function way down for malt and hops and so here we have profit we have per unit profit and we have our um, inputs now we can uh, put the non-negativity condition which is the gold and also white and um, we'll put those values here i'm going to put equal sign and click on the quantity of gold and so here as well i'll put equal sign and click on this cell for white so then we have the gold and white and in here we have to show that it is should be greater or equal to zero where zero is constraint 
and here we have limits and uh, so we can copy this uh, limit to from gold to white and also we can put zeros for both for both now corn as we have said it should be less or equal to 500 hops should be less or equal to 60 and malt less or equal to 900 and so we will use less or equal let me copy the signs and here we have 500 and then we have 60 and 900 so i think up to this point we are done with our model and therefore we can apply solver to see how much we should produce for gold and white and maximize our profit so let me click on the data and solver um, set objective this is the color and uh, we have it here and in this case we are maximizing profit so we're not minimizing cost or we're not looking for any particular value and we are changing variables and this color is for changing variables which are gold and white and we need to add constraints and our first constraint will be the resources which are supposed to be less or equal to their corresponding values since uh, all these have similar uh, limits so we'll select all of them and so i'm going to highlight this and change the signs to be greater or equal to their corresponding values which are zeros and so in this case i can click ok and make sure that this is checked use the simplex method and then we can solve it, my results show that all constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied and so i can keep the solver solution so i'm gonna click ok um, let me copy this and put them here So we can see that uh, we, to maximize profit, which is 3,240, we have to produce 18 units of gold and 24 units of white. And in this case, you can see that we have utilized all our hubs and malt, and we have utilized 360 of the corn. We still have some more left, but hubs and malt are exhausted so the product mix will be 18 of gold and 24 of white for us to maximize the profit 